I am a poet because I like to breathe. <laughs> if I didn't have a mode of self-expression, if I didn't have a way to explain what I see and, and what's happening, I would probably self-destruct. And because I love living, <laughs> I really love poetry. We live in the information age. Millions of numbers and letters spell out all we need to know about everything we want to know. Erica is having a rough morning on Facebook. Pierre passed his math class via Twitter. Videos, blogs, emails, and text messages keep us sufficiently updated on the latest in real time. Traffic on the connector. A murder in a quiet subdivision. The pastor's indiscretion. The eye in the sky tells us all. So why didn't Brandon's mother know what the kids were whispering to him at school? Why didn't Camila's teachers know what her father was doing to her? How come nobody saw the bruises that they wore like freshly pressed khakis? A pretty girl passed Brandon a note. Nervously, he unfolded the page, hoping for an exclamation of affection. Instead, his feelings were crumpled when he read, we gonna kick your ass back. He raised his head slowly to see several boys giving him their undivided attention. His mother put him in piano class to make sure he was well-rounded. Well, around here, pianos are for punks. Camila's homework was a special education that landed her in the slow class. So many secrets filled her mouth that the math answers didn't fit. If she raised her hand, then her sleeves would slide up. So she sat motionless, afraid she would lose one of the shattered pieces she slipped inside her binder. She sought refuge in the silence that lived in the back of the overcrowded classroom. Another year in Miss Winston's class meant another chance to live in the corner between the science table and the bookshelf. And since nothing's fair in fifth grade, Charlotte lives inside a tangled web, an experiment with no conclusion, her conflicts unresolved. She used a protractor to carve help me in her desk and left wrist, scared only that the janitor would be pissed. The next morning, the school bus stops right in front of a perfect house, pristine picket fence, white and clean. Brandon sits in an open window, pain in his eyes, his necktie tied like his principal insisted, tight around his collared uniform shirt. As his classmates arrive, the student becomes the teacher. Each kid followed him down past the pristine shutters. His shiny new school shoes stopped just above the rose bushes. He is a participle left dangling amid acupuncture adjectives. And with all that we know, what have we learned here? Thank you.